On February 25th, 1982, my father died by suicide. Although I never hid the fact that he took his own life, I was often left to deal with my pain in loneliness, social stigma, and solitude. I, I felt so alone with it. I wasn't able to talk about it. Throughout my career as a paramedic and a firefighter, I often found myself, when I did suicide calls, watching family members go through the same thing I did. And, and, and going through the same pattern made, made me want to say to them, I, 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 I so understand what you're going through. As, as I watched them grieving and demolished in their kitchens and living rooms, I, I, I just I wanted to hold them and tell them that I really knew how, how they feel. It's my hope with the Collateral Damage Project that somehow we can create a dialogue that really helps lessen the social stigma that surrounds suicide. The idea of, of putting a face to those who have lost a loved one to suicide has been with me for over 10 years. I, I passionately believe that by stepping out of the dark and showing that I'm a suicide survivor, we'll begin to help those who face a similar life-changing experience today. Imagine what a, a book of people coming together who've lost a loved one to suicide, what that'll do to help the healing and lessen some of the stigma that we continue to battle with every day. It was like a few weeks ago, one of the guys that I worked with, I know that he, I, I knew that he had lost his brother to suicide many years ago, and I wanted to talk to him about the project before it went public and hear it on the radio or on the news or anywhere else. I, I really needed to talk to him about it. So I mentioned to him the title of the project at uh, Shift Change one night, and we left it at that. It was kind of awkward, so we left it at that. And, but the next morning when he came into work again, he, he sort of pulled me aside, and I could tell he wanted to talk about it. And about 15 minutes later, after a really, really good conversation, he ended it by saying, you know what? I've never talked to anybody this long about my brother. And it's been over 30 years for him. If you've lost a loved one to suicide, I invite you to come forward to be photographed and share your story with collateral damage. Join us as we begin the dialogue.